I want to continue on some of the same vein around Flash we were talking about earlier. Um, so we talked about Flash at different levels, how Versto is optimized for Flash. Um, how many of you were at VMworld this year? Good, almost everybody. Uh, how many of you stopped by the Versto booth? Be honest. All right, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Howard. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so what we've got, I want to go into presentation mode here, since I'm not right now. Let's do it this way. Okay. Uh, we did a technology preview of Versto with host Flash. So this is PCIe Flash. In this case, it was EMC's VF Cache, which we magically, see Flash is magic, Whoosh, slides right in. Um, so 300 gigabytes worth of, you know, SLC host Flash on two servers, uh, backing up both the VLOG. So our VLOG is about 10 gigabytes. So copy out 10 gigabytes of that for VLOG another 10 gigabytes uh, for the other host because if you're going to have HA at the host level, you have to mirror. Uh, so mirrored VLOG. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm very choked up about this. Uh, between the two hosts, it was a powerful demo. <laughs> um, and then also using VF cache for read caching. <laughs> was that? Yes, yeah, so I yeah, <laughs> that would be nice. Um, we have the screenshots from the demo, though. Um, <laughs> so what this allows, just not quite as good, but given the track record of demos the, through the week, yeah, we'll sometimes a keep this one short. Sometimes screenshot demo is better, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> screenshot is worth a thousand words. There we go. Demo is worth a thousand screenshots. The big value here. So what we're seeing here today, if you look across all the solutions out there in host flash, Far and away, they are all about read caching, right? We can make your app go faster because we can cache your reads. Why? Because I can't protect your data when it's locked on the host. Now, there's a few sort of left-hand style VSA things that'll let you copy things back and forth with Flash um, that come with all sort of the other complications. What we're trying to do, again, software-defined storage is about data services. What we're trying to do here is add caching in that data service without impacting any of the other services. For us, it doesn't count if you have one good hot service and the others suffer. So this is a case where we're taking that, bringing it up, and driving value, increasing um, both write performance in addition to the caching. How do we do that? We do that because the logs go into VF Cache. When we process the log, that happens at host flash speeds, take pressure off the storage area network, rapidly process, send them down, leverage the existing VF cache caching software for vSpace. So this is read cache by VF cache, write cached by Versto. <clears throat> Couple of quick slides. This is the, yeah, yeah, it's real. It's not just uh, slideware here. So we've got VF cache, it is SSD. Uh, it's how it shows up as a data store. Uh, carve that out. This is the IO service node that we saw Mike talked about in the previous demo. Um, this, if you squint, um, you can see this is the Linux version of the VF cache command line. So that's the VF cache display command showing you read, write, hit ratio on that. The beauty of this solution, okay, I didn't show it back on the previous slide. The beauty of this solution is that caching software, instead of having to be in each and every VM on the host to do some caching, that caching software is in, in exactly one VM per host, and that's the Versto VM. So there is no <coughs> VF cache. No command, you can't run it. It's not on any of the guest VMs, not on any of the server VMs. It exists in one place only. That simplifies management, makes it easier, makes it centralized, and again, lets us coordinate how it's being used. <clears throat> how it's being used? Pretty heavily. So I know some of you can look at this slide and say, but Brian, nobody? Um, but Brian. Thank you. Host Flash can do like millions of IOPS, or Millions of IOPS, <laughs> uh, unless you do writes, okay? So this is not 
a fake test. This is a real test. We've got writes and reads going on, process through the V-log, going out, um, and hitting some pretty good numbers across these two hosts.